Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Coach JC. Everyone gather around, should be going one today. Today's topic is, it's not your job as a woman to build a man. A man must come a simple. Bottom line, uh, too many women, you know, want to try to fix a man. But you got to realize, like a man is supposed to have a blueprint of his life. But it is okay for you to plant the seed in a man to see what areas he could be strengthening at. But overall, a lot of times, some women, they try to fix a man. They try to they try to mold a man to be the type of man they want him to be. And that just doesn't really work out nine out of ten times. I mean, there are some rarity where it does work out. But most, mostly, it doesn't work out. And the reason being is that a man has already needs to understand his purpose. He needs to understand you know, his why. He needs to understand his blueprint of living. You know what I'm saying? You can't really follow a man or assist a man if he doesn't know where he's going, you know, it's like you're giving somebody directions and they don't have a map, map quest, they don't have a GPS, it's like, why are you giving me the, why are you giving me the keys to the car, I don't know where we're going, and you definitely do, you don't want to be in the passenger seat of a man who doesn't know what he's doing, doesn't have drive, doesn't have ambition, you know, doesn't want to cultivate it. Like I said, you can plant the seed, but if you don't see the seeds cultivating, you know, making new tree and making new branches, then it's time for really to leave the situation because like I said, a man kind of should a man should kinda of know where he's at. Not to say he's there exactly, but he should kinda of have a four or five year plan as far as what he's trying to do, how he's trying to get there, and how and how are you and I how how are you and him aligned to get to that goal? And also, too, not really just about him, you know what I'm saying? A lot of guys kind of talk about leadership, about him, his goal, his aspiration. Not really so much about him. It's about you guys collectively. How are you guys collectively going to get to y'all's goals and dream closer to being together? So that just being said, he has to be able to pour into you just like you're pouring into him. You know, it's an equal balance. And a lot of times, as women, you're out there trying to build a man up you know, get him ready for a job, get him clothes, like you're his mom or you're his step, his step parent. And it's like, more than likely, I'm pretty sure he had a mom. I'm pretty sure he had females telling him what to do. But he has to, to take the, he has to take, take the bull by the horn and just, just take the initiative to make it happen, to cultivate it. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody's situation, it's similar. Everybody's upbringing is definitely, but it's not your job to be a second mother to him. You know, it's okay to, to talk to him, it's okay to nurture him, it's okay to assist him. But like I said, ultimately, he has to do the work. You know what I'm saying? He has to put the work in and want to get anything out. You know, a lot of times as men, we try to, we try to hold on to what we learn as far as uh, parents. And sometimes we inadvertently put that pressure on a woman, like she's coming in to be a second mother to us. And that's really unfair to the woman, unfair to the man. So you have to be very conscious and aware of that. You know, you should be, you know, working on being your life skills, focus on your being self-sufficient, you know, doing your clothes, doing your laundry, cleaning up after yourself, you know, just the basic things. Not to say, not to say everybody's perfect. Everybody's learning, just everybody's learning style differently. Everybody learns at different pace, but you should have a clue. Or if you don't know, then try to look some stuff up on YouTube, try to, you know, learn from other people because, Definitely a skill to have. But like I was saying before, like I said, you're trying to build this man up, and a lot of times you're going to be draining yourself out. You know, he's going to be using all your resources, your money, your energy, and maybe, you know, seven out of ten, he might, he probably might leave you with somebody else, and you're like, man, I done built you up, I got you this job, I got you, you know, this position, and it's like, for, for what? You know, I don't have nothing to really to, to live for. So you have to be very conscious and aware and also too you know make sure you're building a man up make sure he pouring into you too make sure your cup is full too don't just try to pour 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 and you get depleted you have nothing in your tank you know <laughs> make sure y'all both are on full you know y'all y'all going out there dating and then also too when y'all y'all decide to date and y'all get married then you have to be very conscious and aware of that too when y'all are getting married too okay you know, it's about both of you guys cultivating one another, building one another up, supporting each other. You know, you may be strong in finances. He may be good at <clears throat> budgeting, you know. So you have to try to figure out how you guys can 
cement could can can blend the blend and mix together. You know what I'm saying? You might be a good saver. You might be a good <clears throat> you might be good at just finding you know good deals at you know at the supermarket. So try to see you guys can blend y'all y'all strengths together. You know, don't let it be a sense of competition. Like, hey, I'll, I'll do this. You feel superior over somebody because somebody might be good at communication. You know, some people may not be good at communication. I'm trying to take time to learn. But you get somebody who's an avid learner. Like, hey, you know, I know I'm deficient in this area, but I do need help. And I do need time to really uh, prosper myself because myself personally, like I said, my my marriage, you know, I like talk about myself, or I don't like to just put myself, put people out there. I don't talk about myself, you know, myself personally, like I said. She really good. Her wife, she good at communicating. You know, I just get a degree in that. Really good at people. And like I said, me, like I said, I could do a little bit better job of communicating. I could be a little bit job of getting my thoughts together. So that's something I'm working on. I ask my wife, pray about my wife, with my wife about it. And you know, she helps me out. So I don't really take that, take that to the, to the head. I'm like, you know what? This area I do need to focus on. And like I said, vice versa, it's strange that she might be weak in or not so efficient in, and hopefully I'm efficient enough in, so we kind of you know, pour into one another. That's what marriage is all about. So if you do end up getting married, you're already married, and you continue to build one another up because y'all got to realize y'all on the same team as everybody else is pretty much, not, it's not so much the enemy, but everybody else is just competition. Like, like y'all got to build each other up. Y'all got to be, you know, Supporting one another, you know, you gotta high five one another. Hey, you see someone else doing a good thing, like see my wife, she got her her um, <clears throat> fitness certification. I'm like, congratulations! You know, I'm the first first one to congratulate you and show your your accomplishment to all the Facebook groups or Instagram, LinkedIn. I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? You you're winning. I win is the win. End of the day, when you're married, everything's in this same same pot. So when I'm doing good. She shouts me out, and guess what? Everything's in the pot. There's no ego. There's no, like, oh, my gosh, I feel like competition between us. No, it's, it's healthy competition. It's what you want. You know, you want to continue to be like, hey, I got this. Now what you going to do now? You know? Okay. End of the day, like that was saying, you know, iron sharp and iron. So you keep you keep um, pushing one another to greater height. But you're single, trying to kind of be a man, and you're trying to build them up, trying to be this man, trying to mold them. Just take time for yourself and say, you know, I gotta excuse myself because this is not gonna work. You know, I can't. I got the energy. I don't have the energy to put into it. I don't have the energy to put onto myself, let alone somebody else. And you don't see a person put in the effort. Now, different if you try to point to a man, may not have it, but he's still putting the work in. Then you can see progress. You can see progress, then you go for it. You can. That's a green line. You can. You can go out through that vein, but you don't see. His veins popping out, everything clear. He might need to get an assistant, or he might need to uh, walk away from the situation. You know, not not nothing personally. It's just like, hey, you know, y'all just not on the same page, and I have to protect myself. I'm not gonna continue to keep pouring to somebody. I'm gonna be drained out. I'm gonna be thirsty, and you quenched, and, and you you ready to go? No, nah, we're not gonna be like that. We're gonna have to work together. It's a collaborative effort by both effort, by both people. I have to build you up when you down. I have to build you up when you up. I got to build you up at all times, you know, because I got to keep, you know, reminding you sometimes that, hey, you, you are greatness. You mean a lot. And a lot of times we need to hear that on both sides. You know, men need to hear that. Women need to hear that. Like, we, you are appreciated. So don't get in a situation where you got to build a man completely. You know what I'm saying? You should have a, a blueprint. You kind of figure out what he needs to do to get to X, Y, Z. Now, he may have a blueprint, and you might just fill in the gap as far as, like, what he may need to do, what roles he may need to take. Then you kind of can nurture him or guide him there. But for the most part, in the same way for you, too, for a woman, you know, if you have an issue with that, he should try to help navigate things that he knows help navigate you to, to wherever you're at. But once again, it's all about pouring to one another. It's not about just filling your cup or even filling up his cup. It's about a collaborative effort and to both fill y'all both cups up so y'all are be able to be efficient for yourselves and people who you guys serve and deal with, whether it's clients, whether it's students, whether it's 
business partner, whoever y'all clients are, y'all can point to one another and see if this works for you. But yeah, though, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, what do you think about the topic? Um, make sure you comment below. Uh, do you think you know it's a woman's job to build a man up and vice versa? Feel free to comment below. I would love to read your comments. But until next time, I'm out. This is Coach Chasey.